Okay, what are you doing in front of the, um... That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, uh, let's... I was planning to do a talky bit and pull up the game after we'd established things, but apparently OBS doesn't appreciate that. Okay. Anytime you'd like to load in. God, don't you just love technology? Anyway, this is Detective Kobayashi. It's a detective game, as the title would probably suggest. Uh, it's developed in Hong Kong by Genuine Studio. Uh, fun fact, Genuine, not Genuine Studio, but just Genuine is the title of the company that developed uh, the 50 Cent game, 50 Cent Bulletproof. So when I was doing research to see if there was anything interesting I'd say about this game before we started with the actual gameplay portion, I thought for a second that this was the same company that made 50 Cent Bulletproof, and that, that would have been very fun, but unfortunately it is not the circumstance within which we find ourselves. Sad. Also, I cannot touch anything on my computer without this game interpreting as a start button. So let's just get along with actually playing the game. So let's meet our detective in episode one, The Missing Child. That's a child, alright. And that man has a funny shaped head. Kid, tie your shoes. I'll see, what is the matter with you? January 20th, 10 p.m. So yeah, we can we can see right under the starting gate the um the green text uh timestamps are very reminiscent of a certain other lawyer game. The harsh sound of sirens penetrated the silent night, and the police cars racing by added a sense of distress to the cold January air. CID officer Tsugo Yoshio's eyes were looking at the man in front of him up and down, while acting disapprovingly towards a woman also wearing a police uniform. Ain't that just the way? Okay, we have voice acting, but it's not in English. I don't know if we want me to be voice acting these characters or not. Alright, what do you even sound like? You're old, you smoke. Matsuda. Matsuda. I'd like not to go too gravelly. I get the impression this guy's going to be pretty important. Matsuda. Is that the guy who was transferred today? The woman, named Matsuda Midori, was standing beside him. Her pale face looked a little distressed as her fingers touched her forehead. I assume so. It's great that he was able to come in time. Maybe he can help solve this case. You're crazy. Do you think I'd believe a person claiming to be an officer of the law when he doesn't even have proper identification on him? Look, if you didn't want me to lose it, maybe you shouldn't have sent it to me on laundry day. Tsugo let out a sigh, and his eyes darted back and forth between Matsuda and the man. He couldn't quite believe that this person really was who he claimed to be. Matsuda pulled Tsugo into a corner and checked that the man sitting on the ground couldn't overhear their conversation. That's... certainly one word for it. 
But he really is amazing. His mind is unique. You know, I only said one word. He guessed my age, gender, and birth. You say it's strange, but it's really strange. You know, I only said one word to him, and he was able to guess my age, personality type, and zodiac sign. You must admit that's amazing. How difficult can it be to guess a person's age? I mean, was he like within ten years, five years? Did he know your birthday? I mean, if he knew your birthday, I'd just assume he'd like looked it up in your personnel profile. He even got my measurements right. Oh. Oh, so we're dealing with one of these protagonists. Oh, Yozaba Dukanadi, the damage you've done to this genre will probably never be repaired. A moment of silence for this genre's respectability. Okay, it's done. No, what? What? He eyes mounted his body. Nani? No, well, it's not that difficult. I could guess those. Do you have a death wish? Do you want to die? I forget it. I'll believe in this time. I just want to go home and go to bed early. Well, gee, I'm so glad you have that as an option. Zugo turned around, clearing his throat and calling the man over. Oh, yeah. Do you finally believe me? I really just forgot to bring my ID. So this is our hero. Kind of dressed like a um, like a, a late Final Fantasy character. He's got decorative belts, and he isn't wearing his clothes properly. Is that is that a gun holster? Or is it just a fanny pack over there? It's gonna change a lot about how I think of you. The main character has appeared! He is the protagonist of this story, Kobayashi Masayuki. This game has a light bulb system. When the character speaks, the yellow light bulb at the top of the dialogue box lights up. And you can see what the protagonist is thinking when you move the mouse over it. Oh, oh, so this is, um... This is like the system that they had in the, the visual novel Raging Loop, except in that game it was kept until after you beat the game as a post-game bonus thing. And it was... It was the entire cast, not just your, your viewpoint character. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this means that Masayuki here is a significantly less secretive individual than Fuseyishi from Raging Loop. It's the red light bulb! Roxanne, you don't have to turn off the red light. Lights up, it is a practical clue in the case. <laughs> I will say in advance that we don't fully believe you, we just hope that you can come up with some helpful ideas. Alright, let me guess. I can't believe how good looking this policewoman is. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be the gentle kind of woman I like. Yep. This is... This is how you establish protagonists, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, well, uh, of course, no problem. You are very kind. I thought you kicked me out with a proper identification. <laughs> Actually, I lost my ID. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a replacement, though. You know, there's some places in... I mean, this this is a Hong Kongese game, but in where I come from, where you can just buy, like, actual police IDs at costume stores. I mean, if you lose them, you'll get in, like, extremely hot water with the local authorities. But you can. It's an option. They won't stop you. 
Can't believe me, I'd love to hit you over the head right now. This guy's eyes are so fierce. Truly menacing. I quake with fear. Fear. And arousal. No, no, it's just, just fear. He would make a much better rogue than an officer. I don't know, he's a bit too bulky. Rogues are supposed to be, you know, tiny and slippery and capable of fitting through small cracks and maneuvering. Lockpick. Sets. Sets of lockpicks. The lockpicking set. Uh. Um. Don't listen to him. If you really are our new investigator, I hope that you can help us with this case. There are two reasons I applied for this transfer. One is to avoid that annoying git from my previous job, and the other is that my best friend moved here. Okay, so... So you... So he does have, like some amount of loyalty to his friends, as we could have expected. He is a protagonist, and thus far, a pretty conventional one. Okay, show of hands, how long do we think until both of these people are going to become important to a case? I wouldn't lie. So I can't figure out why I wanted to be an investigator in the first place. How did I even pass the exam at the police academy? This makes no sense. It's almost like it was preordained by some sort of grand author of our world. Okay, enough chit chat. Come on. There's been a disappearance this very evening. The victim was a boy named Xiao Shi, age 10. The report mentions that he had been staying with his grandmother, who had been taking care of him since the boy's parents started working outside of the province. Uh, judging by the background music, he appears to have been kidnapped by the Imperial Army. Before the boy disappeared, he was playing in the park at around 5.30pm. Write down those times, they're gonna be important. According to the evidence provided by the boy's grandmother... Mother. Hold on, hold on, I don't understand. We're the criminal investigation department and specialize in criminal behavior. criminal investigation department and specialize in criminal behavior. Shouldn't a disappearance be handled by the local police? So, why are we here exactly? This... is a rather urgent matter. My grandmother is rather important, you understand. In three consecutive calls, she asked Mr. Zhang to send the criminal investigation team directly to intervene in this investigation. Yeah, some people rely on their connections for everything. I mean, I'm not unsympathetic to the idea of wanting your kid, you know, found as quickly and efficiently as possible. Well, you know, it's not fair that not everyone has access to that level of immediate concern. Is I am allowed? It is indeed possible to file a case immediately without waiting 24 hours if a child under the age of 14 has gone missing. Don't be fooled by TV shows. The more you know... Excuse me. Our criminal investigation team has their own way of going about things here. The head of state's word is the law, and the chief's commands are also the law. We'll soon get used to it. Matsuda, repeat the statement by Zashi's grandmother. Wait, I mustn't forget any details, so I should write everything down in my handy-dandy notebook. Clue found. Shaoxi, a 10-year-old whose parents were working in another province, is now in the custody of his grandmother, and disappeared at 5.30pm. So Shaoxi is now in our evidence folder. Hey, we found him. Alright, case closed. Good job, everybody. So I'll go home. Useful clues in the game are automatically recorded in the court notebook. The, the notebook. 
Click on the notebook button in the top right of the screen to view the character information and clues that could be used as evidence. Our character list. Kobayashi Masayuki, 27. The new head of the Criminal Investigation Department's Group 2. Likes to watch TV dramas and cartoons. Fascinating, Captain. Matsuda Midori. Superintendent. Second class in the Criminal Investigation Department. Energetic, but sometimes emotional. Honestly, I know she's the only woman we have in our in our character list so far, but I kind of hope she winds up being really incompetent just so I'll have an excuse to make easy goddammit Matsuda jokes. A whole lot. Matsuda, you idiot. Who the hell do you think- no, who the hell do you think you're shooting at? There. There I said it. Hooray. And Tsugu Yoshio. Superintendent, first class, in the Criminal Investigation Department. His motto is, the less trouble, the better. So he's lazy. So all of our main characters thus far have really Japanese names. But we're investigating the kidnapping of a boy named Shashi. I'm curious if that's a localization thing. Or if that was part of the original the original Chinese language version. And regardless what it means. I mean, I've been saying for years that a majority of good mystery fiction comes out of Japan, so it's probably almost certainly a big inspiration for this game, but curious if that's it or if they're going to acknowledge it in-game at some point. Okay, I'm ready. Let's continue. Sorry for the break, just had to had to remember my own name and my age. Okay, let's see. Before he disappeared, the boy was playing in the so-called Zion Garden. I was listening to see if I could get a pronunciation guide, but it just kind of flew past me. Kajion Garden, and his grandmother sat down to chat with some of the other parents who were also there with their children. Since today is Sunday, there were a lot of people around. At about 5.30pm, the grandmother noticed that Shashi was missing, so she reported it to the police. 5.30. It's probably the time around which the park is most busy. Is this Shashi's home? Yeah, didn't I tell you? Are you sure you can do this? Um, yeah? But something seems strange. Can I investigate the neighborhood first? Yes, but be careful and don't break anything. The police department won't cover for you. Why is he so strict with me? I mean, it might have something to do with the fact that you were introduced to him by losing your badge and then flirting with his subordinate. Just, just a brief thought, Masayuki. Investigation. Stato. Now, begin your search. The scene can be investigated by dragging it up and down with your mouse. You can also click on the talk button above to talk to someone, or click on the move button to change locations. Collect all the clues to complete the investigation. Alright. So when I'm playing Ace Attorney, I always talk to people before anything else. Tell me about the circumstances of the case. I know you just did, but I'm sure you're going to give us something new. Detective Kobayashi? Do you think Shashi just got lost or was really kidnapped? What do you think? I think the possibility of him being kidnapped is relatively high, because a witness said he saw the boy leaving the police area after having been picked up by a man. This is a very important clue. Can we see the witness? Oh, I've basically already ruled it out. I think I see where you're going with this, Koba. I'm afraid that won't work. He's not willing to talk to anyone. 
Why, is he asking for a search warrant or something? Not willing to help the police? What is this, some kind of conspiracy? Kind of whacked up conspiracy. Uh, no, but the witness and his family go to bed before 9 p.m. since he's in the first grade of elementary school. Walter, hello! Thank you for showing up. We're playing Detective Kobayashi, and we're investigating a child kidnapping, although our protagonist is already convinced it's not actually a kidnapping. So it turns out that he's a schoolboy. Yeah, let's just stick to the assumption that Joshi was abducted, even though literally last text box I said I didn't think that was it. Flu found. Someone with Joshi being picked up by a man in white who left the neighborhood with him. Alright, let's talk about Joshi's family situation. Moody, goodness gracious me, hello. Thank you for the subscription, I hope you enjoy your emotes. Anyway, we're here investigating the kidnappings of the rich children. Has Shashi always lived with his grandmother? What about his parents? Yes, congratulations, now you too can look at things through a magnifying glass. It's unclear. According to our inquiries, they're working very hard in another province. I didn't think there was anyone in the world who works as much as I do. If I say it a couple times a day, I might even believe it myself. Eh. Do -do 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 -do. The system is down. The system is down. Okay. Poor Shashi. He must feel very lonely with his parents being gone for such a long time. That being said, what kind of person is Joshi's grandmother that even Mr. Zhang listens to her? Mr. Zhang seems to be the chief, but I've never met him before. I didn't vote for him. I would quite enjoy living in such a high-end neighborhood. Why can't we just be rich like them? If I were them, I wouldn't even go to work anymore. I just watch anime all day. Killing those titans at Mikasa's side every day. Ah, uh, Chad, just, just let him live in blissful ignorance for a bit longer. And here I thought you were such a hard worker. Sad face. Alright, tell me a bit about the victim. What kind of child is Shashi? He's a spoiled little child. He has a driver to pick him up and drops him off at school, and if he wants anything, his grandmother buys it for him. Well, from another person's perspective, he might seem to be a very happy child. It must be great to have a grandmother like that. If it were me, I would ask her to buy me photo books of cute idols every day. Yep. So we've established. We automatically assumed it was a kidnapping, but we haven't received a ransom request yet. That's really strange. Hmm. 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 But we did receive a call from Shashi's phone. We did. That seems to me. Anyway, Tsugo Yoshio. Yeah, Tsugo seems to really hate me right now, huh? Is it because I'm more handsome than him and therefore you only have eyes for me? Oh dear. Oh, stream is showing no kilobytes per second. Come on. Come on, I believe in you. There we go. Okay, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Yeah, I'm certain. Oh, it's nothing. Maybe it's because you're the new lead investigator. He can't wrap his head around the fact that since he's more than 10 years older than you. So we are the person in charge here. That 
should mean we won't get any insubordination from within our team, at least. But he really seems to have it in for me. Much of the way he's acting, I feel like I'm the one who's ten years older. Well, I'll go and have a talk with him then. No man can be that stubborn. But Kobayashi, I am no man. I think that'll just rub it in his face. I heard that Sugo used to be very motivated at his job. I don't know what happened, but now it seems to be different. Hey, don't worry, he's not the scariest one on this team. Really? I could be scarier than him. Wait. Where did that glint in her eyes come from? True fear. Matsuda just smiled sweetly. Yeah, no more questions, Your Honor. Alright, let's actually look around this room. Hmm. Cup of tea? A cup of oh. Um. You all heard nothing. A cup of coffee that hasn't been drunk. Fascinating. Anyway, here's Thomas the Dank Engine. A toy trade with exaggerated facial features that's been very popular on TV recently. This toy doesn't look new and seems to have been played with a lot. If that's a relevant clue, it's going to be very important, and I don't see any other way we could have seen it. Not like just by looking or anything. So red light bulbs represent, like, important clues, not, like, bonus if you need help clues. Got it. This toy train is very similar to the one on the picture next to it. Joshi seems to really enjoy this train. So there's only a brand new football and a toy train in the house? Ah yes, the two genders. It makes sense though. Do boys love this sort of thing? Uh, not necessarily. I liked those Magical Girl Warriors when I was a kid. The Magical Warriors part wasn't important, it was mainly because they were girls. <laughs> I'm such a fleshed out three-dimensional character! Boom boom. Master so Yuke, your eye appears to have spontaneously started bleeding the ichor that makes up your eldritch form. Anyway, Thomas the Tank Engine is now in our inventory. A toy train from a recently popular animated TV series. A locomotive with exaggerated facial features. Alright, let's look at this photograph. A picture on the table showing the main character from that popular TV show. This train seems very familiar. I know this, it's from a TV show with toy trains. Almost like we're talking about it out of order because the because the dev team didn't account for us investigating things... Things left to right. The trains in it all have weird, scrunched up talking faces. Weird, scrunched up faces? If they're not even cute, I don't know why it's so popular with children. I don't know who's thinking here. The tutorial box said that we could read, um... Kobayashi's thoughts specifically, but it doesn't say here anything about, like, it's just Midori that the, the thought bubble is coming out of, and I mean, this, this could be coming from anybody. If he's words. But who's that person next to the train? Is the TV show only about a train, or is there a human character in it as well? I can't believe Kobayashi doesn't know about Sir Topham had the fat controller. Fake fan. Fake fan detected. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Shun him. Shun the non-believer! Doesn't look much like his dad either, so it must be someone else. Okay, someone dressed in white with long red hair, wearing a hat and an armband. 
I don't watch cartoons, but this painting definitely feels like it's been done by a primary school student. Well, under closer inspection of the number of colors reflects the characteristics of each object and boldly adopts the oblique composition method to enhance the sense of instability in the picture, so as to express their inner feelings. Duh. Is it really that good? Mwah, mwah. At least it shouldn't be too hard if I want to get to know her better. A drawing of the recently very popular animated TV series about trains, featuring a person wearing a white hat. Kobayashi marveled at the drawing. You can zoom in. Now let's look at this photograph. An old photo of a train. So I'm beginning to suspect that Shashi might like trains. Just a thought. It's not impossible. That's... that's it. That's it. Anyway, there's the obligatory house map. A map of the neighborhood. There's a lot nearby. Industrial area, commercial area, playground, so on. We don't want to kidnap or take Shashi. Mm -hmm. this isn't anything. Let's look at the fax machine. The moment they turned to have a look at the phone, it started ringing. Huh, who's calling? Could it be the kidnapper? Should I make a recording? Yes, that function isn't pre-installed on the device, but the grandmother isn't here right now. I'll just pick it up then. Kobayashi put the receiver to his ear and didn't make a sound, but all he could hear was a loud noise from the other side of the phone. Monster, record from over there and I'll listen. If you're using headphones, you should be able to hear it clearly. Well, I hope y'all are wearing headphones. So it was a steam engine pulling out of the station, passing by some sort of festival or some such with fireworks and an accordion player. That was convenient. Whoever was hung up, especially convenient seeing so they didn't actually say anything to us. Did you track the source of the call? I just pressed record and didn't track the source. Not today, you idiot. A recording of Shaoshi's phone call. Various background noises can be heard that sound a lot like rumbling. 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 It's coming, rumbling. Look at this photograph. A photo of Shaoshi and his parents. Shaoshi looks very happy in the photo. The boy seems to have lived only with his grandmother. His parents didn't live with them. Well, it's worth keeping in mind. Why haven't we seen Shashi's parents? Shashi seems to be living with his grandmother, so it's just the two of them. So where are his parents? Supposedly they're working in another city and left Shashi with his grandmother. It's common to leave children in their hometown while their parents work outside the city, but it also has a big influence on the children when the parents aren't around. Yeah, I can uh, confirm that much at least. Two photos placed on Shashi's living room table. One was taken with his parents, the other with his grandmother. You can zoom in. Now, I at least can see something pretty telling. Just looking at it, but for the sake of chat, I guess we will zoom in a bit. Yep. You can see right there on his face, how he feels about his folks. Alright, how do I, how do I back out of this game twice? Right? And that's where I left the remote. I would really like to just go home, have a drink, and watch that great TV series, The Walk of Love. 
The main character is a beautiful teenage idol that only recently made her debut and looks so cute. Kawaii. I'm sorry, I, I won't do that again, I promise. I, and... Oh, of course they have a decorative frog, why would I not think that? A variety of antiques and furnishings. They don't look like fakes, so the family must be well off. Shouldn't the traditional money toad... You know... The, the traditional money toad. Shouldn't the traditional money toad with the coin in its mouth only have three legs? Is it maybe have four legs so it won't topple over as easily? I don't know. I couldn't even afford one of its legs. Anyway. Man, the game didn't even ask me if I was ready for some football. A brand new football that has never been played with by the looks of it. Not a waste. Would have been better to give it to me. Well, I don't really play either. We're looking for a missing boy, so it's absolutely normal that he would have a football. The weird thing is that this football is so clean. However, yeah, we can guess who bought it for him. So she probably unpacked it and just left it here. What if they washed it? <sighs> now nah, the paper label on the back is still attached and it says happy birthday, shall she? Oh yeah, they did think of that. That's a good sign. I appreciate when they think through their games. Maybe he has too many toys to play with all of them? Or maybe he just really didn't like it. This is interesting. Who could have bought him a present that he wouldn't like at all? I don't like football either. Do you? Everyone has their own personality and preferences, and there are some boys who just don't like football. Some boys will just never be ready for some football. A standard football with a paper label saying Happy Birthday Shashi on the back. Right, anything else on the floor? Okay, well, we can look at the fur pillows. The pillows on the sofa look so comfortable. They're so... Yeah, you see, Kobayashi is very intense when the subject of pillows comes up. Outside the window, you can see the garden in the middle of the neighborhood where Shashi went missing. Maybe you can. Oh, uh, goodness me, would you look at the time? Okay. Cork board! It's very telling what people keep up there. The grandmother probably considered this school information on the wall for her grandson's further education. That people always think they know best. Wait a moment, what's this? Are these letters and postcards from the grandmother's daughter? A postcard sent by Shashi's parents. It says, I want to leave one foot in my hometown and take the other to a place where my dreams will come true. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Did we unlock any new talk subjects? Nope. Can we move somewhere? Where do you wish to go? Eh, they're listing them top to bottom, but realistically speaking, we'd have to walk past the elevator if we wanted to go out to the garden. So, just in case. The layout here is similar to a hotel. It must feel really nice when coming home feels like going to a hotel. Because when you go home, you go to a hotel. Did we mention that this place looks like a hotel? Seriously, why is this here? I told me nothing. Hmm. You should probably question Shashi's neighbors. Okay. But not like right now or anything. It's Shashi and his grandmother's home. There's a very expensive-looking picture at the end of the hallway, and a number is written in the lower right corner that says SP-255. 
I don't know what that means. It seems to be the work of a very famous painter. It, what's it called again? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Let's go outside. January 20th, 10.15pm. Zion Garden Community Park. A round courtyard in the middle of a residential area. The green landscape and the park's play area give off a feeling of relaxation and comfort. It's a very large park. Well, I love it when visual novels have to just make characters announce things that should be readily apparent to everyone present. I can imagine there are lots of people here during peak hours. Why did the two of us have to go here? There are so many unfortunate factors. Kobayashi put on a thoughtful expression, but his gaze was always on Matsuda's face, and she blushed when their eyes met. Okay. Is this where the boy was taken? Yes, it is. Now we should have a good look around. We should try to find something here. Hey, you there! Hey, you... Hey. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not used to coming up with voices for Toad Man. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Wanna tell us who you are first? A security guard. A security camera. This guy's eyes look just like those of my anime goddess, Andy Leonhard. Okay, so naming titles is undone, but you can just drop character names. I don't get copyright law. You don't know? I'm sort of famous in this neighborhood. Judging by the way you're dressed, I assume you're the security guard around here. This lady has a good eye. You should be able to guess from my uniform that I'm the most important person around here. I shoulder the responsibility of maintaining peace in this neighborhood. So you are a security guard. Please, call me the community hero. Yep. Nice guy. Nice security guy, come over here with ask questions. You sneak in here and want to ask if I will let you go, right? No way! I will never let you villains go after illegally invading this area. Don't question my night vision. My eagle eyes spotted you the moment you walked in. No. Yes, yes, we're all very proud of you. I recognize everyone who comes and goes around here, and your strange faces could never have sneaked in unnoticed. <laughs> Is this guy for real? If he's not simply delusional, perhaps he can provide us with some clues. Why are you laughing? Do you think you can make fun of me? Listen, we are from the Criminal Investigation Department. Couldn't your eagle eyes spot that? Police officers. No wonder a police car drove up before. But even if you're the police, do you have a search warrant? We are an upscale neighborhood in which people and vehicles are monitored. If you don't have a search warrant, you can't just come in. Matsu, do we have a search warrant? This game really awkward. No. This is a complete violation of the neighborhood rules. Listen, I won't turn a blind eye just because you're the police. Listen to yourself. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll shoot you. A sensible and reasonable response if ever there was one. That escalates quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. Security guard Wong Akira at your service. What do you want to know? Tell me all the details. 
Your attitude changed rather quickly. Alright, just take a quick gander at your profile just on the in case. A security guard, very proud of his position. Yep, nothing I couldn't have told you. Tell me what you know about this case. Were you on duty around 5.30 p.m. today? He was around that it was around at that time that Shashi's grandmother discovered that he was missing. Yes, I started working at 4 o'clock this afternoon. And when do you get off work? It's probably a 12 hour shift. If the people don't need my protection any longer, I'll get off work in a few hours. So were you aware that child went missing at dusk today? We are investigating the possibility of an abduction. An abduction? Impossible! Listen, I've won the most outstanding security guard award. It's impossible for a child to be abducted under my supervision without me noticing. That's strange. You're the security guard here, but you didn't notice someone being kidnapped. Hmm. Why didn't he see anything? He should have noticed something, at least. Did you spot any suspicious people coming in and out? For example, someone holding a child? Yes, of course. How could I not? There's so many kids here. Parents take their children in and out every day. But nobody seems suspicious to you. Under my watch, I could definitely say... No. Could you think about it some more? He has no doubts at all. Strange. Wouldn't Shashi have struggled? Hmm... Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, I did find a shoe line on the ground this afternoon. Isn't that totally suspicious? Could this be Shashi's? I've got a Shashi's grandmother if this is one of the shoes he was wearing. If this is related to the case, can I become a hero? Assisting behind the scenes? That's impossible. Dude, you might want to see a psychiatrist. Xiao Shi lost a shoe in the neighborhood. Xiao Shi's shoe by the seashore was sold for 60 cents. It's brand new and was picked out by the security guard. Yeah, three stars. Best in the city. Oh, hello there. Did you see him? The man who just walked by. Oh wait, he just disintegrated. My god. It's a g, -g, -g ghost No, he just left. You mean the one dressed all in white? Yes, follow the trail and go after him. In a minute, I gotta ask about the neighborhood security. So you're the security guard in this residential area? What's your name? Didn't I tell you? I'm the community hero. Not even heroes have names. My name is Wong Akira, 26 years old, single. No one is interested in knowing your marital status. Have you been working here for a long time? Quite a while. Almost two months. That's not a very long time. Miss, haven't you ever heard of someone finding their true calling? Can you give me a brief account of what you do? Of course, I guard the entrance and exit to this residential area. Anyone entering or leaving the area must pass by the security booth, and we have guards on duty 24 hours a day. In addition, a key card needs to be used at the entrance to each building to get in. If someone doesn't have a key card, it's impossible for them to enter. A key card, hmm. Unless the intruder intends to carry a weapon on his body and face the community here directly, he can't force his way in. Are there any other entrances if someone doesn't want to use the main entrance? Yeah, this neighborhood is so big it's impossible to have only one entrance, right? So it's certain that every resident must have a key card. There are three entrances and exits to the residential area, but no matter which one they use, they will always be a superhero guard like me positioned there. So in conclusion, there are no other ways to enter the residential area apart from those three entrances and exits. 
no matter which entrance they used, they would have to pass through a security guard's check. As is the purpose of security guards. Unless the intruder can climb a two meter high wall or dig a hole. If such strict security protocol is in place around here, are there any surveillance cameras? Is it possible that the most recent happenings would have been recorded? Those wouldn't be necessary. Not a surveillance camera. Superheroes aren't blind, and there are way more sur reliable than surveillance cameras. Please just give me a serious answer. I played around with the surveillance cameras on my side because I accidentally broke. In order to prevent any accidents, I kept an extra close eye on the area after that. The kidnapper had to pass through the security check, which is patrolled by security guards 24 hours a day. The regulations are very strict, so all the doors require a key card. Awesome it. Oh, one second. Kazu Kazuma, Kazuma Tsukikage, thank you for following. I hope you've been enjoying the stream thus far, or if you just showed up, welcome. We are playing Detective Kobayashi. A mystery game in the style of Ace Attorney where you can look at the moon. There's a poem that says when the moon is in the sky, ask the wine. I don't even ask, I can't drink during working hours. Yeah, that, um... That's pretty rough, buddy. Okay, yeah, that's just... Yep. The moon. What about this tree? This tree looks like a tree from legend. As opposed to all other trees which just look like trees. There are probably very few people who would think about stuff like that. Right? Hello, people. That couple really is annoying. Don't mean to die. It's going pretty good. I've been enjoying the game thus far. And I don't really have any other complaints. I'd like to get the chance to be as annoying as them someday. Alright, we can swing on over this way. A swing! I liked to play on those when I was a child. The main door to the building also requires a keycard to get in, just like the entrance to the residential area. Security protocol around here is really strict. So we're claiming that Joshi was kidnapped from out here in the outdoor garden area, so I'm not sure exactly how these key cards are going to wind up factoring into things. This appears to be everything. Nope, we can still look in the window from outside. So here, you can see Shashi's apartment. Excellent, I'm glad we looked. Well, right now, let's follow that mysterious man. Yep, 10.30, that whole scene just took 15 minutes, please don't look at the timer. 11th floor of building 3. In the park, Kobayashi met a man in a white uniform, and followed him to Building 3. It's not me, this guy was a redhead. And he had a quite prominent mole. After going upstairs, he discovered that the man was living on the same floor as Shashi. The man was at his door and saw that Kobayashi had followed him, but he ignored it. He lowered his head and retrieved the key from his inside pocket to enter his apartment. The man inserted the key into the lock, and Kobayashi leapt forward. Coming out from work? 
Oh, just a bit. Um, yes, 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 I don't know what you sound like. You live here? Elevator? Just a tenant. I'm just a tenant. My name is Li Jun. Is there anything I can do for you? You're very polite. My name is Kobayashi Masayuki. I'm trying to understand something that I'm looking for someone to talk to about it. Could you spare me some time? Oh, oh, sorry. I'm a little busy. He's trying to avoid me. A fiend. Ah, don't be like that. Did you just ask me if there's anything you can do? Why are you here? Oh, look at your uniforms. You're cops, right? You know, the cop uniform. The decorative arm belt on the cop uniform. Oh, hello. Hey, it seems you're the expert. What's going on? It's not that big of a deal, but. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, to be blunt, a boy who lived in this building disappeared into thin air. You suspect he's been kidnapped? Did I say anything about a kidnapping? Could you possibly know something? How is this possible? The level of security in this neighborhood is well known throughout the city. Didn't the security guard stop you when you tried to come in? It was indeed tricky to persuade the security guard. I agree. So I'm trying to understand what happened. Do you know anything about it? I don't know. I'm the guy who closes the door immediately when he comes home. I don't know anyone in this neighborhood. But this is a serious matter. Aren't the child's parents back yet? Hmm? Hmm? How does he know that the boy's parents aren't around? Hmm. Um, hmm. I, um, they already know about this are on their way back, right? Listen, your uniform. Are you a pilot? Unless I'm mistaken, he works for the railway company. No, I'm a train conductor. Oh, sure, a friend of the railway. So, I hope you'll find the boy soon. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Stop, wait, there's still something I need to ask you. Slam. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. He is gone. Well, they set him up to be suspicious enough. Suspicious enough to be a tutorial boss, or suspicious enough to be a red herring? The man didn't hesitate to slam the door. What an ungrateful fellow. Excuse me. Excuse me, can I knock on your door again? Nope. Yep. Alright, what now? I'm back indoors. Evidently not. Head back out. Now that's the elevator again. Nothing to be found here. Go back outdoors. That's not. Probably should, why don't you do that? Okay. Eh, tell me about yourself. It's Matsuda, how long have you been part of the Criminal Investigation Division? I'd like to know if she has a boyfriend. About a year. 
Ah, you seem to know your way around so well. I thought you'd have been here for a longer time. She's a really capable woman. I passed the, exen the entrance exam right after I finished college. That can't have been easy. Basically, all police officers graduate from the same college, don't you know? Ah, well... So do you have a boyfriend? What? How could you suddenly ask such a question? Legas. You must have a boyfriend. Right? No. No. No, please don't. Please God, I beg of you. Not at all. What, real nanny? Thank the Lord! Why are you reacting like that? The world really is full of hope. I think I'll hear him buy some perfume tonight. Yep. So, Mr. Lesion. That man. Why do I feel like he's so familiar? Of course he's familiar, you've seen him before. Have you seen him before? It's the first time I've met him. No, you've seen him before too. Where? Huh? That guy. No wonder you reacted like you did when you saw him. Let me think of him. I guess he would be for the neighborhood, but I didn't expect him to appear right in front of me. I didn't pay that much attention to him, but according to the security guard's description, he and Shashi seem to have similar personalities. But you agree? It sounds like it. Both are described as being loners. But as a train conductor, wouldn't he be the kind of person that many children look up to? The kids are weirdly into trains, and I can't really explain why. It seems we should investigate him more thoroughly. Alright, can we talk to you now? Nope. Uh, can we talk to people outside? Tell me about Legion. You know a man named Legion. He's a train conductor and works for the railway company. I know the guy you're talking about, that freak with the long orange hair. I might challenge him to a battle sooner or later. This this sounds intimidating, but he's actually just talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Freak, why would you call him that? Because he never greets me, always hangs his head, and wears a don't bother me expression all the time. He's cold and a total weirdo. Nobody could be more of a weirdo than you are. Have you seen him with Zhang Jin's grandson? You're asking me if I saw a tall man with the boy? Why? No reason, I just asked if you'd seen them. I can't imagine a guy like him hanging around with children. Alright. Now maybe we can move back to the elevator. Press on Mr. Chin. No. Head back into the home. Am I might not in here? Organize your text levels better. Do you know a woman in this neighborhood called Zhang Xin? I know you. I know I already asked you about her. According to my information, Shashi's grandmother is called Zhang Xin. Her name seems to be somewhat famous around here. Yeah, what's wrong? Are you talking about the wife of that retired government official? 
A retired government official, no wonder even the security guard shows some respect towards her. You seem... intimidated? And when I got this job, my boss asked me to keep a close eye on that family. What kind of person is she? <sighs> Ordinary civilians don't get mixed up in her business. Have you seen her grandson, Shoshi? I don't know the name, but if he's young Shin's grandson, he's picked up by a personal driver every day. That's intense. You know, rich people's children are different from others. It's as if the family is afraid he might take one step and break his leg. I'd like to have a grandmother who worries about me that much. Ever met Shashi? Although I'm the community hero, not everyone is worthy of talking to me. Especially not that arrogant little devil. Arrogant? How so? Arrogant? Was he really talking about Shashi? That little devil is introverted and withdrawn, almost nasty. I'm sure he has no friends. How do you know all that? I thought you were just the security guard. A community hero such as me knows everything about this place. Not to mention his grandmother often tells me that Chashi has no friends. Have you seen Chashi's parents around? Although it may have slipped my mind, I think I haven't seen them for two months. I'm very happy about that fact for some reason. Yeah, child abandoned men. Woo! Pretty hard. Maybe you saw them and just didn't recognize them straight away? Since he hasn't seen Shashi's parents since he took the job. I don't know. Shashi, a ten-year-old whose parents were working in another province, is now in the custody of his grandmother and disappeared at 5.30pm. His grandmother was worried because he was rushing to make friends his own age. Okay, now we're done here. There we go, here's progress. It seems we've collected all the key information. I was about to start doing some preemptive theorizing when looking through the court record, but they appear to have turned it off on me. That's unfortunate. There you are, you son of a bitch. Alright, so we know that she is lonely. We know he has a prior association with Mr. Jun. We got a phone call from a train station, so it seems pretty clear that someone is, like, physically traveling. So... A, that's interesting because Li Jun himself is currently inside the building. And B, because I have no idea why that person called us, seeing as how they're currently... They, they didn't say anything when they picked up. Look at the family photo and the present he doesn't actually like. It's pretty clear that Shashi doesn't get along well with his dear old grandma and much prefers his parents who are not present. Witnesses did see Shashi being carried away by a man and he did lose a shoe. He wasn't struggling because if he were, he would have been caught by security. Hope's question from his parents presumably would have indicated where they are. And a toy train from a very popular animated TV series. They mentioned in the description that the train is old and well used. To contrast with the football, which no one uses. So it's pretty clear that... That Shashi is intentionally going along with his own kidnapping in order to 
get an opportunity to meet with his parents again. And Leo June is probably in on it, seeing as how he was being kidnapped. Well, kidnapped, you can't see, but I just did air quotes. Uh, do I have any animate? Eh. Kidnapped. It's it's not great, but it'll have to do. The question, the big unsolved question here is why? Why we got this phone call? And also why someone's using a fact to hear the game released in the 2020s, but you know. Anyway, I haven't come to a conclusion because we still need to go somewhere. I did corner that Lee Guy Lee Jun, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. But it's so late already. Where else have we not investigated yet? You'll find out if you come with me. It's a privilege to be able to work with a beautiful woman such as yourself. I have two personality traits and neither of them are appealing. That's enough, don't talk with her like that. Monster is not an object you can toy with. Where did he come from? Seems like you've had a bad experience before. Kid, just take my advice on this. When you're here, I have something to tell you. Coincidentally, I do too. Let me speak first. We should go to another location where we'll find some clues related to Joshi, for sure. A lot of things will become clearer once we go there. If that's the case... I'm telling you to let it go, you can all go home. Huh? Uh, huh? What the heck? See you found Shashi? That's great. No, I'm going to send the police to take over the case. No way, if someone else is getting involved. This could mean trouble. That old woman really is crazy. Why'd you have to go and make such a mess of things? Ted probably went to an internet cafe or some classmate's house to play video games. Well, no, he's just talking nonsense. You have no idea how wild children are nowadays. Yeah, real wild going to an internet cafe. God, when was the scourge re ended? Have you found any evidence? Evidence? <laughs> oh, of course. I just told you my reasons and Mr. Shang agrees. Uh, so there is no evidence. Not today. Let's call it a day. Just go home and rest. Today was exhausting. You should all be thanking me. No, this case is not as simple as a child running off to someone else's house to play. Hi, son. You're dismissed. Wait, dude, listen to me. There's nothing more to say, you were just mixed. They shouldn't even call it out here in the first place. Don't, don't I outrank you? Didn't there, was there a whole scene about this earlier? Why are you giving me orders? Is it because I haven't found out anything concrete that shall she? What if I can find him? I think you can. You can't wait until morning. I think I should stay. Now that the investigation is going well, I will find him straight away. <laughs> Don't make this a bigger deal than it is. I just confirmed with Mr. Shaw that you were telling the truth and you were indeed transferred to be lead investigator of the CID. Don't forget, you're only officially on duty tomorrow. And if you want to handle this case today, you will have to go home and get your documents in order first. Until then, I will handle this, okay? Oh. Uh, looks like I have to find a way to convince the chief. Having been nice, I just need to buy myself some time. 
Or, I need to take it up with the chief, right? Are you out of your mind? You know it's sometimes better to keep your mouth shut, right? It's no use anyway, unless you can prove that this is indeed a kidnapping. I have no time to play detective with you and that old woman. That's just very long single text box lines. That means if I can convince you that Xia Shi is your mother, excuse me, excuse me, my voice is mixed up. So that means if I can convince you that Xia Shi didn't bother off on his own, I can continue to invest with the investigation. It depends on whether or not you can do that. Matsuda, can you keep an eye on Li Jun? Don't let him slip away. I don't think he'll try to run. He doesn't seem the type. Be careful. Tsubo isn't easily convinced. I know, but I'm confident I can do this. When in doubt, believe in yourself. Even if you're dealing with systemic incompetence. Don't worry. Dude, although we don't have much time, we should have a chat. Stop calling me, why do you have to be so weird? Now, battle starts. Excuse me, I would like you to go away, please. Anyway, let's review the incident. Uh, is it just me or is the like big booming drum beat in this battle song the same as the tune from Big Chungus? I heard it, and now you will have to hear it too. At 4.30 p.m. this afternoon, Joshi's grandmother discovered that Joshi was missing and reported to the police at 5.30 p.m. You and Matsuda received instructions and began the search, but so far, you haven't discovered Joshi's whereabouts. Stop talking nonsense, if that's all you have to say, I'm waiting. Why do you think Shashi simply got lost or went to a friend's house to play? Are you really part of the criminal investigation department? If it were a kidnapping, the kidnapper would have made a ransom request. You heard that phone call before. It was a child using his mobile phone to make a call, but nothing came through apart from some noisy background sounds. Don't you think this is a call for help from Xiaoxi? Haven't you ever seen a crime movie? If your primary school student were tied up, he would still have the opportunity to use his phone to call for help? And if it had been a call for help, we would have heard some suspicious voices or something. Do you hear anything like that in the recording? Jesus, your, your mic, it suddenly fell in the frying vat. He might have gone to play with some of his friends and proud to tell his family. I've heard of this kind of thing happening before. He's presented his arguments. I need to pick an argument and show that there's a contradiction there. Considering the clues at hand, is there any strong physical evidence to contradict his theory? Hmm. It's in question how strong this physical evidence is, but I'd feel confident that I can take out this one. Because if he really did leave under his own power... Would he have just left a shoe behind? Take that. 
这个。这个 Look at this. The security guard picked up a shoe in the park on his way to the building's back door. He confirmed that the second shoe was missing. Wouldn't it be strange for the boy to go to a friend's house barefoot? Sometimes shoes can wear out, right? The shoe is brand new. You paying close enough attention to the clues? Smug. I do not like this detective. His smug aura mocks me. Oh, shit. Also, you don't seem to be well informed about Joshi's character and living situation. According to my investigation, it's unlikely that Joshi went out to play with friends. Because Joshi's personality is as follows. It's fit. I can't. They won't let me see. Uh, I don't know if doing the joke answers is gonna kill me. Yeah. According to our response description, Joshi is very introverted and has few friends, even though he plays in the park sometimes. Rather than having a hard time making friends, he seems to actually be unwilling to make friends. His grandmother seems to be very upset about this. Even so, there, there is no evidence to prove he's legit. He may have left the residential area on his own, right? It seems you haven't read Mautsta's report at all. A witness saw Xiaoxi being carried away. He didn't leave the residential area on his own. I maybe should have led with this. A, a witness. So it's not like you said at all. He didn't just go out and forget to tell anyone. He was actually carried away, which means the situation is very dangerous. Show me Monster's report. How much should I do? Should I show Monster's report? I can't think of a specific reason why I shouldn't do this. The fact that they're asking at all is very concerning. Uh, this guy's gonna be my subordinate this time tomorrow. I suppose I should put a little faith in him. And if he betrays it, we can fire him. What I see. They say, someone was just being taken away by a man in white. Witnesses are... A schoolboy who's already gone to bed. Are you kidding me? Oh, I knew this would happen. I should have shown the report. Come on, don't be like that. The testimonies of Shashi's peers are also very important. I go along with what you're saying, but what should we do? Joshi's been kidnapped by a stranger, and we're just sitting around doing nothing. Alright, who's this weed bullshit? This is your fault. If Shashi were being held captive by someone from outside this neighborhood, the current situation would be really bad. But Shashi was not kidnapped by an outsider. Nani? How can you be so sure? This is a large neighborhood, and the entrance is supervised by security guards. The residents need to have access to... A new football, no. Alright, where is it? Presenting the guard himself feels wrong somehow. Yeah, the security checkpoint measures. Of course, they need a key card. <laughs> I don't know. 
这种富人小区。And a posh neighborhood like this, there are strict security guards at the entrance, and anyone wanting to enter the residential area needs to have a key card. So you're saying an outsider couldn't get in if he didn't have a key card to pass the security check? That's half correct. What? Apart from that, it's just as difficult to take a child back out. What? To peek inside, there might be a slim chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but it's definitely not easy to take a fourth grader back out. Maybe there's a little chance of sneaking in, but Seems you still don't get it. Have you talked to the security guard here? Sorry, I'm just. Of course I have. No suspicious people were spotted, right? Yeah. Then don't you see what's going on? What? What am I supposed to deduce from that? At least we've reduced the scope of possibilities. And tell me, who is the criminal? The criminal. He lives in this neighborhood. What? What? You just you just got told who the culprit is. You don't need to react like you've been kicked in the balls. Just because of that. That's why he had a key card and was able to take the boy away without raising security guard suspicions. Hold on. Even if he had a key card and took the boy, wouldn't the security guard have seen them? He wouldn't have found out. Why? There's only one possible reason. Xia Xi went along voluntarily. Because the boy knows the kidnapper, he followed him voluntarily, and that's why the security guard wasn't suspicious. What? You mean someone he knew committed the crime? Are you are you like an old, experienced cop? That's how most crime works. Exactly. I've already discovered where Shashi is, and we are going to go there now. Point at the location on the map. Hmm. I don't really know anything about the location of any any festivals from what we got, so I guess the answer is that he's on the railroad because when he turned the call into us, we heard, you know, steam engines. <laughs> Why there? The evidence to prove it's this location is the fax machine. Although we can't really hear anything on this recording, if you listen carefully, you can hear some background noise. This indistinct and regular sound doesn't sound like a train to you. A train. That's right. When Joshi called, he was on a train. Ah, that guy. I thought you didn't have any more tricks up your sleeve. Falcon. Objection. Wait, we killed him. We actually killed him. He was so owned that he disintegrated. And now we're raining confetti down in celebration of our kind of halfway solving the case. Hooray. Seriously, I'm not the only one who hears it, right? It's like, Chungus. Chungus. Big Chungus. Like, like it's the exact same B. I, I'm not going crazy, right? Right? Come on, someone back me up here. 怎么样，大叔？这下应该可以稍稍相信我一下吧。How about it? No. How about it?
Do you believe even a little bit now? You're clever. I thought you'd just depend on your position as chief inspector. <laughs> oh, oh well, that was nothing. There's way more to me than meets the eye. It's Koba. More than meets the eye. For example, my passion and perseverance. You want me to take it back? It's a joke. Where did you come from exactly? Hmm? Huh? Didn't you say you were transferred? Where were you transferred from? I don't really want to talk about it. You sure had something. No, I don't think I had anything. I transferred because there was no girl in the other team. My youth was wasted in that place. So, okay, that... That does technically not contradict the story we got last time this came up. I forget it, I don't care. You don't need to tell me. Oh, you don't like to show it, but you can be quite sensible. Hey, look at you saying something flattering. I wonder how Miss Matsuda is doing. Matsuda? Send her a text message and ask. Yeah, I don't have her number. Oh, I forgot that new here. Thank you, I've earned it. Just like that, I got a pretty girl's number. I'm a three-dimensional character. Let me show you how to use your phone. Uh, now I know how to use SMS. Whenever you receive a phone number during the game, you would open the phone tab in the upper right corner, open an SMS app, and then click the plus button to enter the number. If you successfully added a character, you can call them. In general, only a specific point in the story will give you that dialogue option, so be sure to pay attention. The phone also has a shake function. The shake button can be found in the upper right corner in the interface for adding contacts. Try shaking. Maybe something unexpected will happen. You should add some numbers from now on. We often use SMS to get in contact. Matsu's number is 662 787 Open the phone and add it to your phone's contact list. Remember to say hello to her. Uh, it's 662-7... What was it? 662737884. Day okay. Hi, Matsuda. I don't know this number. Who are you? Hi, it's me, Kobayashi. Huh? How did you get my number? That guy called Lee Jun really did leave the house, and I followed him. Just as I thought. He went to the train station, right? Jesus, you text fast. What? How did you know? He went to the train station just now. I saw him walk into some kind of lounge. I couldn't follow him, but he was only in there for a minute or two. Joshi, Zhao Shi, was he inside? I peeked inside when the door opened, but it seemed to be empty. What's happening now? Where is he? He's looking for something. Not quite sure for what yet. But well, you keep following him, and Sugo and I will meet you at the train station. Okay, I'll let you know if anything happens. You are as reliable as you are beautiful. Don't say stuff like that to me. And we have maxed out our accessible inputs. So, hey. Let's get going. We need to go to the train station. fun. <laughs> What a hassle. Yada yada does it. And now here we are at the train station. Hmm. 
stream's been running for over an hour and a half. Would any of you be horribly upset if I ran out to refill my drink real quick and also I played like a minute of ads while I was gone just to like get pre-rolls turned off again? Would anyone at all like really only got a few minutes left wouldn't be able to make it back in that time would prefer to just see as much of the game as possible. I'm not hearing a no. Alright, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'll be right back. A majority of people in the audience will not see that I was ever gone. Okay, I'm back. Alright, January 20th, 11.30 p.m. The main station. So, according to your conclusions, the boy should be hiding here at the train station. Yes. Oh, I have determined where exactly. I originally thought that just she was in the waiting lounge, but Matsuda said she, there was no one in there. Curiouser and curiouser. You said the man named Lee Jun is the kidnapper, right? Launch would catch him on the spot instead of letting Matsuda tail him. It doesn't make sense to catch him now because we don't have any concrete evidence if he doesn't confess. He might even have an accomplice, then Shashi might still be in danger. How can you still be so calm? What do you think that guy is looking for now? I have no idea, but I have to find out before he returns. I hope you find some clues here, otherwise I can't just let you off the hook. Do you really know how to intimidate people? Investigation. Start. Before we start actually looking at stuff, I'm curious. What is this shake feature? Ah, slap noises. So it just pulled a... I mean, it's obviously not a random number. The odds of pulling that in a random pull are one in uh, probably some absurd 12-digit number. But let's just shoot a random text. Why don't we? Hey, is your name Chacha? I don't want to buy a house or a subscription, nor do I want to donate money or take up a loan of any kind. Huh? What did you say? What I just said. Well, you can't accuse them of dishonesty. Not here to sell anything. Uh, what? Who are you? I have to remember via the shake function. Is anyone even using the shake function anymore? You had to be told about its existence a few minutes ago by an omniscient tutorial narrator. Yes. Do you think it's a good way to meet new people? Uh, it's not very reliable to meet people like this. Well, yeah, I'm pretty good at it. I hope you say so. Your name is very cute. You're a girl, right? Mm-hmm. What kind of work do you do? Work? I'm currently working for the customer service of a detective game with a blonde protagonist who isn't too well known yet. Well, Chacha, I'm sorry to tell you, but my stream probably isn't going to help that. What? Do you mean Kanban? Yeah, let's call it that. Did I actually find the number of a Kanban employee? There's nothing to be excited about. What kind of game do you represent? I'm not a spokesperson, I'm just from the customer service, and it's a detective game. Huh? I'm very good at solving complicated puzzles. You are? Then you can also play it and see what happens. Yes, you too can purchase Detective Kobayashi by... Oh, fuck, I already forgot the dev name. As soon as I found out they weren't actually the same company that made 50 cents, will approve if I lost all interest. But yes, you too can play and purchase. Not in that order. Detective Kobayashi, a mystery game. Bye now. Ding. That's right, I'm from the Criminal Investigation Department, so I'm a professional. Ah, uh, Nani? 
You're a police officer? That's right, and I'm the head of the criminal investigation department. I'm very handsome. How come your character is so similar to the one in my game? It is? That must be destiny. Not at all. So what do you like to do when you have some free time? You're interested in that? That's right. Go shopping, cuddle with the cat, chill at home. Oh, that sounds very leisurely. Yes, I prefer staying at home. You and I will really get along. I also prefer to stay at home. Looks like you don't pass up on even the slightest chance to get things started. What do you mean? Eh, nothing. Since you represent a detective game, you must be very fond of solving puzzles. Yep, I'm interested in the unsolved mysteries of the world. What are the unsolved mysteries of the world? Aliens and ancient civilizations. I wouldn't really call those unsolved mysteries. I mean, I don't think there's any question about whether Egypt existed. And, you know, aliens. Have you ever considered the possibility that maybe there just aren't aliens anywhere we can access? I mean, the odds of a planet, like, actually evolving life have got to be, like, one in, like, a 30-digit number. And, you know, most scientists agree that FTL is just straight up violates one of the basic bottom-of-the-pyramid laws of physics. Maybe we'll just never meet aliens. Maybe we're just stuck here. Or, or is Cha-Cha one of those people who, like, thinks aliens and ancient civilizations, like, those are a single mystery? Because, uh... I have some thoughts on people who say that. Do you believe in aliens? Well, the universe is huge. There are probably some creatures living somewhere else than our Earth. And I don't believe anything that hasn't been confirmed yet. Might that have something to do with working in the criminal investigation department? Ahem, maybe it does. A wink. I feel so happy being able to talk to you for such a long time. You do? I'm gonna block you, though. Why? Why? We're having such a good chat. Generally, people like you who don't know me at all will add me and then I block them straight away. But we already wrote about 60 sentences without me knowing about that. Better dots. Cha, cha are you holding a sparkler in your profile pic? Yes. Oh, you like so cute. You think I'm cute just from seeing my hand. That's right. I can tell from your hand that you're really pretty. And you may be disappointed. How oh, come? You can send me a photo. A photo? What is this photo you speak of? You won't regret it if I show you. Why would I regret it? Seeing a photo of you is now my life's ambition. Then your ambi- God, text slower, Jesus. Then your ambition is really boring. Well, as a competent customer service, it's been quite a challenge to entertain you for so long. I'll make your wish come true. Satisfied? Then, goodbye. Please continue to support the popular detective game with the blonde male protagonist. The other person has blocked you. Huh? Wait. This picture. Hey, Cha-Cha! You really blocked me! No. Rip that guy. Do I dare? Dare I? I do. Pay pay. Cha-Cha and pay pay. What a pair they make. Hello, anyone there? Hmm. Who are you? My name's Kobayashi, I got your number by chance. Kobayashi? Hey, that's a clever hookup trick. Oh, I'm not trying to hook up. 
Are you called Kobayashi? Is that right? My name is Kobayashi Masayuki. But you can just call me Kobayashi. Kobayashi Masayuki. Oh. Yes. So what's your name? I'm not telling. To keep it mysterious. Ah. Uh, you a girl? Hmm. How do you know I'm not a man? A man wouldn't try to be all mysterious, right? Is that so? I'll remember that. And look at how many emoticons you're using. You're a girl for sure. Looks like you're still very clever. S still? Oh, nothing. What kind of career do you have now? Can you keep a secret? Why do I have to keep it a secret? Because my profession usually scares girls off. Are you serious? Are you... a butcher? Is it... Very unpopular to be a butcher? I don't know, it's just a guess. Now, why don't you try and guess what I do? Okay. Are you a policeman? <gasps> what? How did you guess that? I thought that you might be a detective or a police officer. Your intuition is really good. I am indeed a detective. I work with the Criminal Investigation Department. That sounds good. So. Can you tell me your name? You're very strange. Didn't you text me at this number and you really don't know who I am? It's true. Aren't your detective skills really good? You should be able to find it out, right? Even Sherlock Holmes' reincarnation couldn't guess people's names. Huh. I guess that's true. Alright, I'll tell you. My name is Pei Pei. As you might have guessed from the name Pei Pei on my profile. Huh? And I feel like that's a pseudonym. It looks like you don't trust me. I should be angry with you. It's okay, I'm just teasing. What kind of job do you have? Me? Da 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 question mark. Yes. Well, I'm not really doing anything, really. I'm just idle. Are you a student? Now that you mention it, I would really like to go back to my school days, but no, I haven't been working lately. That's so cool. I'd rather not have to go to work every day, too. It's not cool. If I got to choose, I'd rather get out and about and meet other people every day, just like you. So you want to get a new job? Um, yes. I hope I'll get the chance to find a job. Go! Actions seek more than words. Yes, I will work hard. Heart emoji. That's nice, you seem to be a very energetic person. I do? What else? You must have a charismatic boyfriend for sure. That doesn't sound very believable. It does. Even though these are the only text messages, I think you're very energetic and charming. Consternated emoji. What's that look? It's suspicious. You don't have to be suspicious, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Consternated emoji. What kind of person do you think I am? You? Well, I think you're a very interesting person. You know, that sounds like you've known me for a long time. It's true. I feel like we've known each other for ages. So, what else? Um, you're a very funny person. You think I'm funny? You think I'm f am I funny to you? Am I a clown? Here for your amusement? I wear big red shoes that flop around. Probably he is, actually. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, chatting with you makes me happy. I'm honored. I'll probably gossip about this, so don't be too smug. Uh, you're a really elusive woman. Kobayashi, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Dani? Why are you asking me that suddenly? I'm just curious. Do you have a girlfriend after high school? After high school? Uh, <laughs> probably not. What does that mean, probably not? You did or you didn't? I... I 
did me- have you ever had a romantic experience before? Hey, I'm ashamed to admit something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I seem to be a bit of a gossip. Not you, Pepe. You probably have a lot of admirers. Um... What's wrong? I've never been in love before. What? No way. How is that even possible? Why would you say that? You don't know what I look like. What does it have to do with anything with what you look like? No, of course. If I'm super ugly, it wouldn't be wouldn't it be natural for me to not have been in a relationship before? Ugh, I don't think that has anything to do with that. It doesn't? How come? If a person is self-confident, they don't need to be extremely good-looking. Their confidence will make them shine. Is that so? Oh yes, even if you're not incredibly attractive or maybe even physically disabled, as long as you're confident, you will naturally be really attractive. Ding. And that's Life Lessons with Masayuki Kobayashi. That'll be three bucks. I think you're just saying that come for me. I'm not, and I don't believe you're as unattractive as you say you are. If you're telling the truth, that would make me really happy. So can you send me a picture of yourself? What? Why? To prove that you're completely charming, like I said. But if you look at it and change your mind? I am not mistaken in my reasoning. But we've only known each other for ten minutes. It's not fun to let you know who I am so soon. So how will I get the chance to see you? Well... Let's see if you're really as honest as you say you are. Massive... Gaping black hole emoji. It's scary. Honest? What kind of honesty are you looking for? I'll do my best. Let me think. Why don't you tell me some secrets? If I'm satisfied with them, I'll send you a picture. Bye-bye! If I don't believe them, you'll fail the challenge. <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking. It's fun! Um... Actually, even though I'm in the criminal investigation department, I'm afraid of blood. You're afraid of blood? That's right, Snake. Hemophobia is a mental disorder characterized by an extreme aversion to the su to human blood. Yeah, I feel nauseated when I see or smell blood. What do you do when that happens? Aren't you often confronted with blood when you investigate a crime scene? Yes, yeah, so I try to stay really calm so nobody will find out, but I won't look directly at the blood. That must be hard. If you don't look around carefully, isn't it hard to find clues? Yeah, sometimes that's true. Oh, huh. that really is a problem. Jeez, this thing's going on a while. Yes, well, I said it. Oh, is that all? Yeah, it's a big secret. I'm not satisfied yet, tell me one more. I have to tell you another? Of course. Getting a girl's picture isn't as easy as that. And here I was thinking it's only hard to meet girls but not talk to them. Okay, I'll tell you one more. Actually, I'm afraid of the dark. Really? Boys can be afraid of the dark? Why should boys be afraid of the dark? I don't know, but you don't look like... Look like... I mean, you don't seem like you would be. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, please pick up on what I'm going. With this, please. I pretend I'm not, but since I live alone, I turn on all the lights at night in order to fall asleep. Can you sleep well with the lights on? Like a baby. Anything else? Tell me something else. How much more do I have to tell you? Oh, some secrets you shouldn't keep to yourself. It's good to share them. It makes you happy. I think the only person who's happy about this is you. Don't you want to see a picture? You drive a hard bargain. This is my first time being blackmailed. Oh, come on, smug emoji. Okay, I'll get it over with. For a picture! The fact is, I don't know how to shoot. What? I'm telling you way too much. How did you even become a policeman? That's a good thing I did. No! 
isn't. So you don't actually know how to shoot. I don't really understand it, that's why. <laughs> it sounds dangerous to be saved by you. No, I rarely use guns. I use my mind to solve the case. That's all. I have no more secrets. Well, I want to know something apart from your work. For example, like your romantic history. Romantic history? Didn't you say you haven't even been in love before? Yes, I want to know why I haven't been in love. That's all? I take my career very seriously. I don't care about things like love. Ha 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 ha. It's not good to lie. You have such a cheerful personality. It can't be difficult for you to find a girlfriend, right? Maybe I'm cheerful on the outside, but melancholic on the inside. Or maybe I'm an obnoxious horn dog without any actual positive traits other than my ability to solve crime. Anything's possible. Is it because you never take the first step? Come you see right through me. Well, it's damaging to my reputation, but you're right. That's strange. You were probably a really confident guy in high school. Haven't you been listening? I wasn't like that at all. You weren't? You were probably really popular. You have a lively imagination. But I really wasn't. In short, that's the reason why I'm still a bachelor today and not popular with women. Well, come on, don't be discouraged. You'll find someone who likes you. And we finally got the photo, thank god. Da -da! Did you get what you wanted? The, what? Why are you wearing pajamas? Is the picture not good? I was too lazy to change clothes when I took it to my room just now. What's the matter? Is it no good? No. How? How? How can this be? You're so cute! Hey. Didn't anything come to mind after looking at it? What? No, it's nice. That's all? Oh, I'm a little sad. Sad? Why? Because you don't remember me. Remember you? What do you mean? Do we know each other? See, you've completely forgotten about me. I guess so. I think you've just given yourself away. From what you just said, it feels like you know who I am. Mm hmm Then you asked me about my romances after high school, but you didn't ask me about the time before high school. Mm-hmm. Were we high school classmates? Hey, you seem to be relying solely on reasoning. You don't really remember me. But I can't remember such a lovely girl being in my class when I was studying. I'm disappointed even if you put it like that. I surrender. I really can't remember. Can you tell me who you are? No, I'm not telling you. Hmm. Why? It's not enough that I now know it's really you. But I don't know your name. I'm Pei Pei. Just Pei Pei. No, I didn't know anyone named Pei Pei in high school. You're really persistent. Anyway, you can't ask any more questions. Even if I told you my real name, you certainly wouldn't remember me. It's true, I can't remember you from this photo. Is this maybe the legendary change girls go through when they turn 18? Maybe. I used to be a very shy and humble girl. So that's it. But I'm so happy that I actually ran into you again. Oh yes? Speaking of which, since you were my high school classmate, you probably know Murata and Ryu. Yeah, I know them. Wow, what are the chances? I just got your number randomly, but you're actually my high school classmate. What a coincidence. It wasn't a coincidence. What did you say? Oh, nothing. Alright, it's almost time. Almost time? Where are you going? I'm going to take a nap. Going to bed this early? Well. Well? Yes, I need to rest. I need to rest? You're not feeling well? You're... You're really clever. Why, what's wrong? Oh, nothing, don't worry. 
You should take care of yourself. If you don't feel comfortable, you should go see a doctor. It's not like that. I don't get it. Is it a physical illness? <laughs> you would understand this kind of thing. Did I guess right? Well, no. The more you say that, the less reassured I feel. You act the same as you did in high school. How's that? You pretend not to care on the outside, but you're very caring on the inside. Oh, am I? Yes. Are you not happy? No, I'm very happy. Can't you tell me what it is? I don't want to tell you. Come on, tell me. If it's like you said, you'll feel relieved if you say it. <laughs> okay, alright. I'll tell you. But don't freak out. Don't scare me. I'm ill. Ill? Three pipes. It's really serious, so I have to stay in hospital. What? In, in hospital? What kind of disease is it? Um, it has to do with my brain. A brain? Your What is it? Is it a tumor? Well, yes. Oh. How did it happen? I don't know, but that's how it is. Can you be cured? Can a doctor do something? The doctors can perform a surgery. On the brain? Well, yes. See, here I thought they were going to pull the tumor all the way out through her spinal column and extract it through her big toe. Shows what I know. How? It's okay. You don't have to worry about me. That's ins- How can I not worry about it? Everything will be alright after the operation. Surgery. There's always a certain risk, right? With an incision in the brain? Well, there are some risks. The chance of success is still... high, right? There's only a 50% chance of success. Only 50%? That's already very high. You only get that kind of success rate with a really good brain surgeon. My... my heart feels so heavy right now. Well, I'm the one undergoing the surgery, and I'm not as depressed as you are. What is the surgery schedule? Can I come over to see you? See me? There's no need. Why? Because it's tomorrow. So... tomorrow? So soon? It's not soon. It's been over a month since I decided to do it. It would be dangerous to postpone it any longer. So, today... Well, if the surgery isn't successful, today may be the last time we talk. Jesus. Hey, don't make me feel bad. I, I, I know, but... I really can't accept it. What are you saying, stupid? Didn't we meet only today? Am I not a stranger to you? No, that's not true. I feel like I've known you for a long time. It's really easy for you to get acquainted with people. But... I'm really happy to. I can't believe I talked to you again before the surgery. I actually met Murata a little while ago. Murata? Well, I was so surprised that I ran into him on the street, but he, just like you, didn't recognize me. I'd lost hope of ever seeing you again until I met him. That kind of gave me hope again. But Murata didn't say that you wanted to talk to me, because I told him not to say anything. You did? Why? Because I regretted it. And he didn't want you to see me like this. So I was surprised when you wrote me today. So, that's how it was. <laughs> I'm still very happy. You wanted to talk to me that badly, but I couldn't remember you at all. Can't you tell me who you are? I can't. But why? Because I don't want you to be upset. 
What are you talking about? I promise you that if my surgery is successful, I will tell you my name. Oh, I'm sure that even if I tell you, you won't remember me. But I'll let you know all the same. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> don't be like that. Don't you have any confidence in me? I feel very confident about this operation. Well, I support you. Don't say that in such a desperate tone. I support you. You're going to be alright. I'm sure you will. <laughs> That's better. You really have to be okay, you know? Well, I'm going to be fine, and... And? I'll do my best. When I'm better, I'll go on a date with you. That's a nice thought. I thought you said you didn't have a girlfriend. Then... It's a promise. You must get well and then go on a date with me. Alright, alright, got it. Then... I have to go offline now. You're leaving? Now? Well, I have to rest and... Then I have to go and do some checks. Tomorrow? When's the surgery tomorrow? I really want to come. No, I don't want you to come. If you come, I'll be under so much pressure. Then the operation will fail. Damn it, don't make a joke like that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, you're not coming. Just wait for me. Ah, uh, cruel. This is so cruel. Be like this. Um, I'll send you something. What are you sending? Well, I wrote a song. You wrote a song? Well, it's kind of hard for me to write at the moment. If I don't come back, this is something you can remember me by. Xiaoyula 那也无所谓了，无所谓了。后来我找到你了，你还会想起那天吗？I mean, I don't understand a word of it, but it's pretty。都忘了，但有什么关系呢？直到你在就够了，直到你还好就足够了，都回不去了，都回不到那时刻。要走了 is this on a loop, or is it just, you know, a song that follows a pattern? Yep. Nope, it's over. I have to go, so... See you later? Hey. Pei Pei. Actually, I've liked you since high school, Kobayashi. You did? Pei Pei. Pepe? Pepe! You have to get it well. You'll get through this. You'll recover. I'm sure you will. Jesus Christ. I... I can't believe they locked something like that behind just a, a random push-button get optional content feature. That was... That was both an incredibly beautiful scene, and I feel like something that was very important to Kobayashi's character. 
I've not made a particularly big secret to play through this fight of the fact that I'm not super thrilled with Kobayashi as a character. He's very, you know, he's a lecher, but, you know, he's talented at it's the thing the series is about, so we just have to deal with it. You know, I didn't appreciate that when Kindaichi did it, and I don't appreciate it now, but... That scene actually, like, made him appear in a better light. And I feel like we're all better off for it. Hey, Major D, what's up with you? Okay, I can't talk to Major D. So I guess there's nothing left but to actually stop stalling and do our job. Oh, right, the... the the, the kidnapped kid. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't forget. Don't worry about it. Let's get right back to investigating the secrets of the missing child. Right, let's see if this train... This specific train has anything interesting to us. It mentions a train to Chaiwan. Chaiwan, Kaiwan, Kaiwan. The thing about, like, Chinese as a language is that, like, there is... Japan... Japanese is a language that's famous for having lots of homophonous words, but... Chinese, you have lots of words that are spelled the same when Romanized, but are pronounced differently because you put the emphasis on different words, like the, the famous stone lion, stone poet eating, or no, the, the poet who eats stone lion's poem, where the, the every word is just she, but with different emphasis. Anyway, yeah, it's just a train. <sighs> Hey, talk to me, Dotty. Excuse me, but how old is Miss Matsuda? She seems to be a few years younger than me. Eh, 24, why do you ask? I'm just curious, this is the first time I've been teamed up with a girl. I can't help but recall those days I had to face with any girls in the team. Kabayashi, I just said a bunch of nice things about you. Don't get any ideas about Matsuda. She's not a casual kind of woman. She isn't? I think she's very easy to get along with. She feels approachable. That's because you haven't seen the... other side of her. The other side? Believe me, you won't want to see that side of her. <sighs> it, it, it can't be that scary, right? So, how long have you been in the criminal investigation department? Eh, 20 years. That long? Then you really are my senior. But you're still just a low-rank inspector. Probably because he openly hates actually doing his job and avoids it whenever possible. You're just a kid who's been looking down on me because of my position on the CID is lower than yours, right? No, no, I don't think that at all. How does he know exactly what I'm thinking? You have to respect me, even if that's your opinion. Don't think that you can do anything that you like just because you have the title of Chief Inspector. At the end of the day, I'm the one who has to have your back. Oh, is that so? I was gonna ask you lots of questions. I wouldn't ask you for anything. Hey, you're catching on quick. So is your salary that much lower than mine, then? What are you talking about? Alright, is that all we have to ask you? Door of the train car. There aren't many people around at this hour. Only one or two people are still on the platform. That's in this door. The exit to the train station. We came in through here. Which means that technically it's also an entrance to the train station. Hmm. 
All right, that's about the limits of this place. Let's check out the lounge. January 20th, 10.40 p.m. The train conductor's lounge. Seems that man named Lee Jun is a fan of trains. Oh, uh, really? Here I thought he got into it for his health. I think anyone who doesn't like trains wouldn't have such a connection. I can't imagine a train conductor being this interested in his own work. Hurry up and investigate before he comes back. Alright, what's on the board? Here's a single leaflet about the train type 21. The railway line 21, which serves the whole country 24 hours a day, was created in 1990 and has been in service for more than 28 years. Serving the public without interruption. The train cars have no air conditioning, windows are open at all times, and all train carriages in the country that are under the jurisdiction of the railway have been repainted green. We will continue to work hard to, spend important, to send important guests to various destinations each day, soaked in rain when they arrive. This train seems to have a long history. As the door we came in through, at least the train platform, I just wanted to get it off the out of the way before we investigated it. Map on the table. Why was that pinged already? Map on the table showing the areas covered by the railway. When in doubt, look in the trash. A waste bin filled with rubbish. Nothing in there. The other exit of the lounge leads directly to the green train's platform. I see. Judging from these clues, Zha Shi is indeed here. You've gotta stop playing stuff like that out of order, game. I have no idea what he's talking about. Have you discovered something? I've discovered Li Jun's motive, the reason he took Zha Shi. What? Where is he now? I'll let you know when the time comes. Can't keep this up and you'll be in your lunch alone at the bathroom tomorrow. Da da da. Alright, what's in the lockers? Someone deliberately painted the time tree of the T411 to the locker door. This person must like this train very much. Is this Lee Jun's locker? Does he like the T411 that much? Ch chunk ch chunk Foley. Hmm. The cabinet is locked. A lock requires a three-digit pa numeric password. You fool. You ap- <laughs> Excuse me. As I was saying, you fool, you absolute nincompoop. How'd you know the password? It was a lucky guess. That's too good to be true. It's a diary. Can it be legions? It's not very polite to invade another person's privacy, but it's also required for handling cases like this. January 5th. The weather isn't as expected. It's too fierce with all that rain. I haven't called my family in a long time, but I don't know what to say when I pick up the phone, or how not to get into a fight with them. January 6th. Sometimes I don't understand the meaning of my own job. I feel ashamed of it. January 7th. I went to the train museum alone, only to realize that the train model I had seen last time I sold out. I should go earlier next time. Why is such expensive model sold out so quickly? January 8th. I found out by chance that the children in the neighborhood liked the train model very much, and some of them were even more careful with it than me. I thought that children these days were only interested in luxury cars. January 9th. It would have been nice if someone had taught me more as a child so that I could have been accepted as a good to a good school and could have become a respectable policeman. January 10th. The child from next door came by to talk to me. I actually had a long chat with a primary school student. How many years has it been since I talked to anyone like this? January 16th. I secretly took Xiao Xi to the back of the train station to play today. Wow, just seeing how happy he is, I think he really loves that train. 
Let's read about that thing. January 17th. Shashi's grandmother scolded me for playing with Shashi. Turns out that Shashi isn't sneaking off without telling his family. Does his grandmother really understand her grandson? I don't think I've ever seen Shashi's parents before. January 18th. Shashi and his grandmother went out and spotted me. They just waved and left, keeping their heads down. It's all in here. All the depressing truth of it all. Man, Yuva, you've got to wonder. It really does seem like a frankly miserable existence. But it all it motivated him to do was bond with an innocent child. It's all just a bunch of a man's complaints. Is that so? A journal found in Lee Jun's locker in the conductor's lounge. It's a record of some of his past experiences. Okay, that didn't ping as red, even though there was nothing new there. This document, it's the train conductor's ID. Wait, it turns out Legion drives this train. I get it now. Legion's work ID for his job at the railway company. It says Train 21. Okay, all these lockers are actually just one locker. T411 is written on this poster. Is this the train Legion drives? Gee, I wonder. I'd feel pretty posh driving a train. No matter what you do, you would never be posh. This one's called the Beach Train because it takes a sightseeing route. The scenery along this route is apparently really nice. I'd like to go on that sometime. But you... Maybe you want to go together? But baka No thanks. Another train poster. The Goddess. That's a strange name for a train. And it is. Uh, nothing out the window. Nothing left. Okay, what's this? Hey, what's this? Shashi's homework. Yes, today's homework has been finished. But nobody's here. Hmm. Today's homework has been finished, much like this investigation. Hey, I got a text. You want? Detective Kobayashi, I've been following Lee Jun for a while. He just walked around to the train station and is now heading back to the lounge. Tsugo and I are in the lounge. What? Well, come, he'll be there soon. Follow him. It's time to confront this guy. You mean, a face-to-face -face confrontation? Exactly. Okay, please be careful. He's coming over. Who, Lee Jun? Who, Lee Jun? Who, Lee Jun? There, yeah. That's what I'm going for. Look, if you don't have to, can you please not confront him? Do you think I want to? Let's see what happens. Lee Jun was standing outside the door. Kobayashi took the initiative and opened the door. Lee Jun looked at him, stunned. Huh? <laughs> Kobayashi. Good job, Miss Matsuda. Lee Jun. Mr. Lee Jun. You're doing overtime at this hour. You, why are you here? I remembered something that I'd forgotten to ask you, but I didn't expect you to come back to the train station. Is there a problem? What are you doing here? I left so some things, so I came back to get them. You mean you left Shashi here? Can we talk outside? Hmm. I forgot to ask you before, but do you know this boy? Lee Jun looked at the photo of the boy in Kobayashi's hat and gave a start. Oh, I know him. He, he lives next door to me. 
What happened? 你今天有见过他吗 ？Have you seen him today? 今天没有，我一早出了去， uh, 下班就回来。No, not today. I left early in the morning. I haven't returned from work. 你和男孩的关系应该不错吧？住在隔壁，要见面的机会很多是吗 ？Since you live next door, there are many opportunities to meet each other. 我不太懂你的意思。I don't quite understand what you mean. 我刚才说这里失踪了一个小朋友。I mean, the missing child is this boy. 你的表情好像一点都不惊讶。Surprised. Smug. 什什么？我我哪有不惊讶 ？Well, I'm not surprised. Da 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 Cracks knuckles. As I look Lee Jun in the eye, something unexpected happens. Da da da. This officer, if you have no evidence, I won't go with you. Evidence? There isn't any. Evidence? 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 Didn't I just talk to you? Just give me a suspect straight away. Sorry, I was hoping to talk about everything calmly. What do you want to talk about? 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 If the kidnapper deliberately left the shoe on the scene, the purpose would be to make the fact that Xiao Shi was gone even more obvious. In that case, he'd be letting everyone know that the boy had disappeared, whether alive or dead would be unclear. Everything you're saying is hypothetical. You don't know what criminals are thinking when they commit a crime. Yes, I'm just assuming this, but it's a reasonable assumption considering the kidnapper's motives. He took the shoe's reason was to let others know that he was gone. So why he took Xiao Shi is that he wanted to make others believe that Xiao Shi had been abducted. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. This is a bit rude, but I need to ask. What were you doing at 5:30 p.m. today? So to say, what did you do at 5:30 p.m. today? So to say, what did you do at 5:30 p.m. today? You're doubting me after all. If you make me slow, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry you're unhappy with this, but I hope you can cooperate with my investigation. I was at work at the time. Passenger train? Yes. 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 What are you talking about? He's driving a train, a solid alibi. A lot of passengers can testify to that, right? Well, of course. Actually, I'm just asking. You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? You're so young, how can you be so young? No, 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 no! I just don't respect people who lie and then take everything personally. What the hell did I say? When did I lie? You're not the train conductor at all, and I have evidence to prove it. Hmm. Didn't you mention in your diary? I can't. 
这怎么就不能做证明 ？How can that be proven? 我这只是流程性的试探。I'm just, I'm just, just, just test. You're going through everything, you know? 我这个人是没怎么见过世面。I've never been in this kind of situation. Please don't try to fool me. 怀疑你，我是有。I have my doubts about you, and I have good reason. 你根本不是动车的列车。Is it your ID? Are you lie? Is it that he's lying about what train he's on? You're just from there. I'm just from the closet. How did you get this? I safely stored it inside my locker. But the password clearly posted directly on the locker. Yeah, that that feels like a translation issue. Like. Nowhere on that that ID card does it say that he's not a conductor. It just says what train he serves on. And you know we don't know shit about train twenty one. We don't know what that means. 没有啊，明明掉在地上了。Oh, obviously, it fell to the ground, and I accidentally picked it up. 这怎么可能 ？How? How can this be? 看到这证件，我就很在意了。It was very concerned when I saw this document. The type of vehicle noted on the certificate is not a regular train. This is the train 21. It was a passenger train that was also known as the green train. In fact, Li Jun, the train you drive is no longer a passenger train, but the old-fashioned green train that was eventually converted into a freight train. You are giving so much new information on me. 绿皮车就是低人一等，是吗？ So you're saying the green train is somehow inferior? 你不要这么敏感。Don't be so sensitive. I didn't say that. 不过既然如此， But in this case, it wouldn't be difficult for you to leave your conductor's position. 事实上，绿皮火车车次排班可比动车稀疏的多。The fact the green train schedule was much less frequent than that of the other trains. 下午从火车站回家，你知道小徐那时间会在公园玩耍，所以你就借着与他熟悉的关系，把他带出了小徐。这也很合理的解释了犯人是怎么进出这五点钟的地方。This also explains how the kidnapper entered and left the neighborhood. You have a key card, and Xiao Xi followed you voluntarily. How can that be? What nonsense! Oh, what a mistake! How so? Do you know this small town? Do you have any idea how big the neighborhood is? Because the town is very big, so there is no evidence that only you could have committed such a crime. Just to prove it, you could be the one who committed the crime. But if you prove that the boy was kidnapped by someone he knows, how could you know it was me? Because I was there. 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 Because You don't know him. It seems that every time you have no evidence, you like to ask these kinds of questions, detective. You're clever. You should consider joining the police academy. But what you don't realize is that this time I do have proof. You have evidence to prove that I knew him. It's this that proves that you and Xiao Xu knew each other. He drew a picture of you. These are just scribbles. You can see it? Have you had a closer look? The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a child who is being sold to a train cartoon. The book is about a It's a train conductor's hat, but as long as that character has the same job as me, he would be wearing the exact same outfit. Read the voice spotted it on TV. His on the G. You see the birthmark on the man's forehead. That's not. This image. There is no doubt the drawing is of you. Timing. <laughs> Well, children sometimes remember the smallest details. Are you surprised? The boy loves this train very much. Apart from a soccer ball, he doesn't play with. The only other thing he has at his home is a toy train. You live next to his house. 
You live next to him, and because you're the training conductor, the boy likes you a lot. So he even included you in his draw. So he even included you in his draw. And only his grandmother lives with him. You could have gained the trust of a ten-year-old child in this neighborhood. But from his family, you're the most likely person to have done so. So you did it, right? Well, will you admit it? <laughs> What do you think? Yeah. You don't want to admit it, right? Well, aren't you going to plead guilty? No. Can't you see that these things can't be used as concrete evidence? Yeah. You have a little training. You're about this rather professionally. I thought you were going to admit it. I thought you would confess straight away. Yes. Yes, I know the day. Yes, I know the boy. Be relying on. Pick up. Yes, I know the boy. Relying on details that are based on imagination. I basically have no motive to have done it. Why should I have abducted the kid? What good would it do me? Although I'm only the green train conductor, I'm not worried about money. The salary is enough for me to rent a place. Without that, I don't have any hard feelings or complaints about the kid or his family. And I don't have a motive to have done this. Hmm. You're right. Yeah, that awkward silence when the culprit just knows the detective is about to one more thing you. So I'm sure you shouldn't be regarded as a criminal. You realize you've caught the wrong person now. No, no, the kidnapper is you. Right? No, 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 the kidnapper is you. Right? Damn. Damn. My, my stomach. Why did you punch me in the middle of an interrogation? Blech. He died. I haven't thinking about your motives for committing a crime such as this. If you're not short on money, there's no reason for revenge. But when I walked into the lounge, I understood. What? What did you understand? Your motive for committing the crime. Your previous statement is contradictory to the following clue. This one. And this one. Yep. How does that prove? Uh, looks like this is the right question to ask. Lee Jun is very sensitive when it comes to his relationship with Joshi. Let's find out with more clues. You just finished. 与我手上掌握的线索是相违背的。Alright, so we know the correct question. Yeah. Okay. It can't be this because we literally just said this. This is diary. Are they? Do they feel like they're kindred spirits? There we go. That's a really weird thing to try to sell as like an objective evidence-based contradiction. The relationship between you and Zhao Shi is your motive. When we first met, what you cared about wasn't if Zhao Shi was alive, but you asked me where are his parents. I remember that. Li Jun, I think you were a child. You experienced a similar childhood. <laughs> That feeling of loneliness. I think you're probably very emotional about that. <laughs> emotional damage. So when you see Zhao Shi, you see yourself in him. Alone, helpless, lonely. Do you think that if Xiao Shi continues to grow up like this, he'll end up just like you? What do you think to say? That's why I'm doing this. Yeah? Do you really think so? The lack of self-confidence, not knowing how to get along with others, always feeling inferior in some way. What did you 
If that's not the case, why do you mind telling others that you drive the green train? <laughs> no detective, you just want to shake me up so that I'll confess. After all, you still have no evidence, do you? That I took the she. I'm sure that even while you're saying this, you already know I have an answer. So she was abducted by you today. And the evidence... Is this thing we've been holding this whole time and already showed you, but you didn't respond to earlier because the flag said it was wrong. You have today's homework. The student workbook that I found in your lounge is the evidence. Joshi was in the lounge today and nobody apart from yourself could have taken him there. Joshi, that's impossible. Why is this happening? And... Bang! We broke him. Hooray, we win, yay, confetti. Chunkus. Big Chunkus. Please, tell us the truth. Then, am I going to be convicted? Well, I still have to explain everything before I can make an assessment. I just didn't want Josh to live through the same childhood as me. So I took the initiative to approach and get to know him. At first, I just wanted to be there for him because I fully understand what he needs the most. He said he seemed good friends, because Zhao Xi was very interested in the train. He also believed in me. I was really glad to be able to help him be happy. However, for this child, that's not what he needs most. Yes, what he hopes for most of all is that his parents will come back and be with him to watch him grow up. So your plan is to kidnap him, hoping to scare the boy's parents into coming back. Well, I heard you say that the boy's parents are coming back, so I know that no matter what happens, I've achieved my goal. Have you talked to Shashi about all this? No, I just asked him if he wanted to go out to play. Whether or not his parents came back in the end, I would have sent him back home. Don't argue, Lee Jun. You've wasted so much police time, you should be prepared to go to jail. Don't be so heartless, dude. Criminate. Well, you can't be dude again now? Yes, because it's past midnight. <laughs> Lee Jun, since you've already confessed, we don't have to keep playing this game. Tell me where Xiao Shi is now. I... I don't know. What? I told him not to run around and just stay here to do his homework and rest. And that I'd come to pick him back up later. But when I came back, he wasn't there. You idiot! What are you playing at? Go down, dude. Don't be like this. Li Jun, I saw Zhao Shi's notebook on the table, which is really strange. Right? Strange. Why would a child bring a notebook to the park to play? What? When you took him away, did he have a backpack with him? Yes, yes he did. It's weird of you to ask, of course he was carrying his backpack. What? Yeah! I just found it that Josh Shi was at the lounge, so I went looking for him. I even asked some of my colleagues, but there was no sight of him. I can't believe this.
Seems the true mastermind is someone else altogether. Did you ever tell Xiao Shi that you drive the green truck? Legion, Legion, did you ever tell Xiao Shi that you drive the green train? It's a very old-fashioned train. Liu Da, I once told him that I hoped he would never grow up to be like me, working on an old train like that. Yes, I once told him that I hoped he would never grow up to be like me, working on an old train like that. Did you tell him that you wanted to trick his parents into coming back today? Of course not. I told him that I would be back at 1 a.m. to pick him up. What's going on? I get it now. What are you saying? What are you saying? Is this even really a kidnapping? What? Now entering the deep logic of Kobayashi's subconscious. And all we can hear is dial-up noises. The answers to the most important questions must be found to solve the case. Drag the answer you think is right to the bubble on the right, and submit it if you're sure it's correct. To solve this case, we must find out Zhao Shi's location first. Who was actually pulling the strings in this case? What's the real reason for Zhao Shi's disappearance? Right, Zhao Shi is on the green train. He wants to see his parents, and he's the mastermind behind his own case. It's a fair bit easier than any of Dunkadrampa's minigames, I'll tell you that much. The real culprit in this case is Zhao Shi himself. What? Is that the most complicated plan I've ever seen a child mastermind? I'll tell you that right now. What? What? Matsuda, come over here for a second. Kobayashi whispered something to Matsuda. She listened, nodded, and immediately disappeared. Did you ever notice Shashi making a phone call, Legion? No. I, I had no idea he had made a call. Hearing you say that, I'm afraid that Shashi is trying to tell us something. We only heard a lot of noise through the phone, and I guessed it was the sound of a train. Listen, can you hear the sound of a train? Uh, uh, this? It's the red unique noise that green train makes when it's in motion, right? Tashi, he... How can he be on the green train? We've all been misled, including you, Li Jun. From the beginning, we thought that it all had something to do with your relationship. Taking away Zhao Shi so that his parents would hear about it in return. But in fact, that's not the case. Shashi knows nothing about your plan, but he... He has his own plan! What kind of plan? This may make you feel bad, but if I'm not mistaken, Shashi is actually using you. Using me? Why? Because he knows that you're a train conductor, and he knows that if he boarded the train, maybe he could go and see his parents. After arriving at the conductor's lounge, Shashi took his chance. Because the door of the lounge leads straight to the platform, he was able to board the train directly. Gasp! But why the green train? Why not choose a faster and better train? That's simple, because in his eyes, the train you drive is the one that travels furthest. What? From your point of view, the green train may have gradually been eliminated, and working on it isn't a respectable position. But from Shashi's point of view, it's completely different. He likes this kind of train, and because of your relationship, he likes this one best. It's a train that can help him fulfill his dreams and take him to his parents. It's a very childish motive. Pure in a way. But we should. 
果真找到一个穿着一只鞋子的小朋友。But we should probably go find him before he, you know, winds up getting lost in you know three prefectures over. No food. 真的吗？太好了。All right, really great. 就是他居然。She, she actually. 虽然只有十岁。Although he's only ten years old, he dares to take advantage of his good friend and wears only one shoe to travel the province. In a way, it's also kind of amazing, isn't it? Detective, I'm sorry. It's my fault all of this happened. Don't start admitting your mistakes. Solve the problem first. What's wrong with you? If this guy hadn't been meddling in other people's affairs, that child wouldn't have. I thought that I made it very clear that Xiao Shi was the one who kidnapped himself. And in that case, Li Jun was the only used by him. So, what crime did he commit exactly? Kid, are you covering for him? <laughs> I do have the authority to make this decision, you know. Dude. May I? Uh, I'm, I'm too lazy to be in charge. Less trouble, the better. Doesn't pay a lot anyway. Kobayashi turned to Li Jun and handed him Shoshi's shoe. This is. This is. I have a task for you. Please take this shoe. Bring it to Shoshi. Tell him that he's not alone. And that what he's looking for is right here. Not anywhere else. This. Then I want to tell you. I would like to add that your job is amazing. Someone is sitting in your train to find their dream. Really? Is that true? I respect you from the bottom of my heart, Li Jun. I have one last question. How were you so sure of what I was thinking? Because when you see Shashi, you think of your past self. I saw your diary and realized something. Is it possible you? Yeah, regardless of the background, people should always have their own hopes and dreams, right? Nobody is a saint, and everybody makes mistakes. You see, I came to the conclusion that you were just doing your best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, is that the end of it? Can we go now? Detective Kobayashi. Oh, what's the matter? You sound so friendly. It's nothing. Nah, Baka. It is I. Kobayashi stretched out and yawned. As the rumors say, he always easily solves cases in which others are trying to mess with his head. This time, his clever mind opened Matsuda and Sugo's eyes. January 21st, 2 a.m. Streets. Yeah, you and me, we're from the streets. Detective Kobayashi! Huh? Uh, Matsuda, why did you follow me? Why did she come here? Is it possible that she wants to confess her feelings for me? I still think I should thank you. If you hadn't turned up in time, maybe we still wouldn't know where Joshi was. Yeah, don't be silly. The most important thing is that Joshi is okay, right? I'm curious. What clue made you suspect the boy ran off on his own? Was it because he brought a school bag along? It was his right shoe. What happened to it? I suspected that the shoe had been left by Legion and thought about it. He didn't have to do that. He wouldn't have to leave too many clues before Joshi's pants came back. And the fact that the laces were tied means it definitely didn't fall off accidentally. In any case, Joshi needed to follow Li Jun voluntarily to get through the security gate. But Joshi didn't complain to Li Jun about having lost a shoe. Ah, so... Unless he took it off himself... Do you mean Joshi did it deliberately? 
他要把一只脚留在故乡。I want to leave one foot. I got. 他想实现梦想的地方。Son, I you what? Who that? Hey, huh? Hey. I vaguely remember that we had this. God, the thought hadn't even occurred to me. Damn. This is his father's memory scene. This is a sentence. Our man, he. God, there's more. No. This is a sentence on a postcard from his parents. The boy remembered this sentence and wanted to make his father's words a reality. When I saw this postcard at Shashi's grandmother's house, I guessed the meaning of these two sentences. Okay, no, you didn't. Don't lie to me. A tiger can't expect his son to be a kitten. You know what that means? Very impressive. <laughs> oh, oh, it was nothing. <laughs> it's so late. Where are you gonna stay tonight? Ah, I can stay anywhere. Don't worry about me. I'd like to stay with you, giggity giggity. I know. But at the end, it was me who asked you to help. That's why you don't have a place to stay now. You didn't mean that to happen. You're not like that. What? Hmm? What am I like then? You're gentle and kind. That's a surprisingly unperverted thought for Kobayashi. Especially while he's making this face. You think about me, I'm touched. Yeah, and it's not just the beauty of the chief inspector. Who knows what the future may bring? It's really dangerous out there. Hmm. Hmm. Is that so? Oh, I'm an idiot. I got my hopes up. Don't worry about me. I actually have a friend who lives nearby. I'm gonna go to his place and crash there. But, Xiaolie? Kobayashi! You look more like a VTuber than I do, my good sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. Huh? Huh? Murata! Okay, so they did change their names for the localization. Um... He did not- the voice actor did not say the words Murata- I'm sorry, I know we're almost done, I really need to use the can, give me a minute. I have returned. The man named Murata called out to Kobayashi. He was dressed neatly and a camera was hanging from his neck. Judging by his expression and tone of voice, he was a friend who was very familiar with Kobayashi. You coming to pick me up? I just heard over the phone that you solved the case. I was afraid you wouldn't find the address and wanted to come by and pick you up. I didn't expect you to be talking to a woman. This guy's name is Murata. We met in high school. Although we parted ways after graduation, we're still good friends. Oh, no, no, no. No, I think about it. You've been wearing those glasses since forever. It's also nostalgic. Murata hasn't changed at all. The same hairstyle, the same glasses, the same quiet voice. My short sightedness is quite bad. It's not bad to wear contact lenses. <laughs> hey, the editor in chief is still such a hard working man. What are you talking about? I'm just a small editor. We're finally reunited. Let's go for a drink. No worries, come home first. My family has a lot of free beer. Okay, I miss the days when we were together. Those days when we used to drink and look through photo books of cute idols. The good old days. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it's funny. Huh. Sorry to interrupt, but what weird stuff are you two talking about? I don't know. Is this your girlfriend? I don't know if having a police woman like her as my girlfriend would be a good or a bad thing. Well, what? Of 
course not. Meh. Mole. Eh? You saw Sina. How can you not? You should be careful, she's fierce. Is it customary now to say bad things like that about a person? <laughs> hey, don't worry, let me introduce you. Uh, this is Miss Monster, my colleague. Seeing which, I haven't seen many girls joining the criminal investigation department. She must have studied very hard at school. I am Matsuda Midori, and you could learn a thing or two from me. You can call me Murata. If I may be so bold, can I take a photo of you? A photo? Why? I like taking photos of beautiful things. Ooh, smooth. Kabayashi, your friend is much more polite than you are. <laughs> How is that so? What nonsense! People call me the genius of the criminal investigation department. But thank you. You hadn't turned up today, I'm afraid. Still so polite. Fortunately, you turned up in time, and I hope to learn much from you in the future. She's really a straightforward woman. For some reason, I find this absolutely horrifying. By the way, you have my phone number already. Here's my other contact as well. We're going to meet every day at work, I'll give it to you anyway. Kobayashi took the note with the contact information and put it in his inner coat pocket. I really envy you, all the beautiful women giving you their contact information. You have to tell you about our measurements? Out of careful inspection, it's 35D2435. Hey, what are you talking about? The second chapter has been unlocked. It's a case set in a theater. Gasp. Ah! Blip. She died dead. So, our actual first... So, our first actual murder case lies on the horizon. But for the time being... An entire case in a single episode seems like a pretty solid conclusion to our first stream of this game. Overall, I've been enjoying myself. Uh, there were a few moments in that case where I thought, you know, the evidence isn't really solid enough to be like an actual gameplay-based deduction, and uh, the localization isn't great. But overall, I've been enjoying myself. That was a decently complicated case for a first tutorial session, and it zigged in quite a few places. You didn't have to catch me off guard. So yes, uh, in later this week I will be playing more of this, I will be playing smaller, less brain-intensive games over the time in between. I hope to see you there too as well. And until then, goodbye everybody.